Hello! Today we are traveling to Malaysia. Malaysia has lots of jungles and islands and big cities. One big city named Terengganu has a special place called Turtle Alley. Although these pictures were taken at a quiet time, it is one of the busiest walkways in the area. And you can see turtles all over. The alley was decorated to raise awareness of the endangered terrapin turtle and other turtles that are found there. It was also decorated to make it a more beautiful space. Along with art, there are turtle facts and information to teach people how to help the turtles. For instance, say no to turtle eggs, don't eat them, and keep the ocean clean. Local students and other community members work together to create the artwork and spread the message. There is a long strip of student mosaic artwork that goes along the side of much of the alley. A mosaic is art built from small pieces, sometimes in shapes like triangles and squares, or random pieces. People wanted the alley to look nicer and make their community a better place. This is called community beautification. Can you think of any community beautification project in your area? Utility box art, mosaics around town, and even beach cleanups are considered community beautification. Turtle Alley didn't just make the alley more beautiful, it teaches people about turtles and how to help them. Did you know California also has turtles that are threatened and endangered too? Here's some sea turtle facts. Sea turtles have been around since dinosaurs roamed the earth. They also hatch from eggs in the sand. They can't tuck their heads and legs into their shells like many land turtles can. They eat jellyfish, seaweed, crabs, shrimp, snails, and other things. They breathe air just like you and me. But they can hold their breath underwater for four to seven hours when they're sleeping. There are seven species of them and six out of the seven are endangered. What can you do to help? One of the best things is to keep the beach clean. Trash that gets into the ocean hurts animals. And things like plastic bags get confused as food. So avoid using plastic bags if you can. And do not touch or disturb any sea turtles. If you're lucky enough to see them, give them peace and quiet. And you can make turtle art. Your class or school can collect them and make their own virtual turtle alley. Now. There's, it's time to gather our supplies. You're gonna want to have a piece of paper, a pencil and eraser, and something to color with, like markers, crayons, or colored pencils. You can use a combination or just one set. And you may want a black marker or crayon or pencil. That's nice if you have one to draw the outlines if you like, but it's optional if you don't have a special black pen. Now for some tips. Pause the video. If you need to pause the video to go get your supplies or any time during the videos, you can always pause them and look back. Review something. Tip number two is to make things big. Which size do you think is better in this picture? The bigger one lets you decorate the shell more and you can see the turtle's smile. But if you happen to make a smaller one, it's okay. You can add details around the turtle or add a family of turtles. Tip number three is you can use a pencil to start. If you want, you can draw with a pencil when you're trying to dry your turtle and use an eraser to fix anything. When you're happy, then you can use that black marker or crayon or, or pencil to go over it to make it darker and stand out. You don't have to do that though. If you want, you can skip straight to using the black marker um, or crayon and go with that it's fine. <laughs> Here are the steps we're going to be following. Step number one, draw a turtle outline. There's going to be some how to draw steps coming up. 
teaching you how to do the side turtle or a turtle from the top or you can choose to draw your own turtle your own way step number two will be to decorate your turtle and at the end of this video there's decoration ideas that you can use or you can decorate it your own way and number three is to celebrate you are done now here's how to draw the turtle with the side view upside down you in the middle of your page make it big so you can decorate the shell add a line to connect it add a head it could be as big or small as you want the head a tail and legs you can add rectangles or squares as the legs or you can make them curved. You can add an eye and if you want to smile. How to draw a turtle? The top view. Start by drawing a big circle. Imagine this is the shell that you're going to want to decorate. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Then draw a circle inside of that circle to make the ring of his shell. It doesn't have to be perfect. Their shells are not necessarily perfect. You can draw his legs a little U's coming off of his body. And his head. Tail. And let's give him some eyes so he can see. I like to put them on the side, looking forward and out. And if you want, you can add an outline to the eye. So it looks like a big eyeball. <laughs> now it's time to decorate our turtles. Now you can outline your turtles in black if you'd like. And then you can decorate the inside of their shell and their bodies and around them. Here are some examples. There's shapes and lines. You can add, you can add rainbow stripes. You could be more realistic, or you can make it like a mosaic that we've learned about. Just make shapes and leave the surrounding areas white. You can also add scenery too. If you have your turtle, you can have them swimming through the kelp forest, or along some corals, or with some friend friendly fish. Have fun decorating your artwork however you like. Remember, every turtle is unique. Be creative and have fun.